You know, sometimes when you have to read some very technical documentation and maybe it's just a bit dry or you just feel like you need some help focusing on it, I have found this website to be very, very useful, Natural Reader, uh, naturalreaders.com. And here is an example of how it looks. This is its main page. When you get to it, I'll put a link to it. And so this is Add Files. Um, this is, I'm actually, this is my library. So how it works is you can upload a document, see PDF, Office Doc, etc., text, copy paste, you can images even, uh, and web pages. So I use it, for example, right here. I'm going to be reviewing some Open API specification, and there's this too, GraphQL. So let's go ahead and hit Library. These are the most recent items I've uploaded here. So I've looked at OAuth Grant, and here's some OAuth 2. So we'll open the Open API specification, and let's just start. You can click from the very top, and when you start open it out. Open API specification version 3.0. So when you press play, it will start from the beginning, but you can go anywhere you want. Introduction. The Open API specification. And notice down the here on the bottom. Language agnostic. See this. That's really helpful. I don't know. I really like Kelo's captioning. If you don't, you can click the off button there. And so in terms of adding something new, so you would just go back to library and I want to maybe load up this article about GraphQL vulnerabilities from Portswigger. Okay. I'll go here. I'll go to add files, web page. This is a really cool thing. I'll just copy paste the link to the article. It'll load it up. And there you are. Now I can hit play. GraphQL API Vulnerabilities Web Security Academy. GraphQL vulnerabilities generally arrive. And that's pretty neat. I just thought that was really cool. So maybe some of you guys will like it and find it useful. I know I have. And I'll put a link to it. All right. See you in the next video.